Driverless cars, health and fitness trackers, smart lights, doors that open automatically, and so on. In the not so distant future, future devices and objects will exchange gigabytes of data, making our lives supposedly more efficient. But why does this matter for us? Why should all these objects and devices be connected? Thanks for joining the Big Band Podcast. I'm your host, Jorge. I'm here with my co-host, Adrian. And uh, the topic of today's podcast has to do with uh, basically with the Internet of Things, right? Yeah. So the, the thing I have against... Uh, well, I don't have anything against the, the Internet of Things, but um, I've still yet to, to hear any of these you know, tech companies or providers give a more of a substantial reason as to why we should care about, you know, having all these devices and objects connected to the internet and understanding us and knowing us beyond just efficiency. So, you know, I, li- I would like to, 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 I mean, I totally get it from a, from a provider standpoint because, well, you have everybody's data. <laughs> you have everybody's data. Um, but from a user standpoint, customer standpoint, why the hell should we care <laughs> beyond, you know, <laughs> beyond mere efficiencies? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Why should we care if it's more efficient? Uh, because it's the future. It's the future we see in movies. It's the future we want. I have a question for you because I, I don't know a lot about that. But, okay, does it have to be... Like an outside network, can it be like an internal network that everything's connected, but it's not connected to the internet? Just like, well, it it there are scenarios where it's a, it's a mesh network. Um, in industrial settings, this is the case, where obviously you will not open up. I mean, if you're, I mean, if if I mean, I mean, like what? What's one example? Maybe planes, right? <laughs> planes. Planes are already connected objects. I mean, they they literally fly themselves. And they are sending signals down to, you know, to radars and whatnot. So um, that's not something we as a, as a public can tap into. We, we don't know what the hell, you know, what type of data they're exchanging. We, we can imagine it, but we can't, we can't really go in somewhere and, you know, kind of, you know, and hack it and, yeah, and hack it and see it. But, and that's, that's a close network. But in, in our case, I mean, if, you know, take, take, for instance, a smart home. Um, <laughs> How many objects will be in the home? I mean, just off the top of my 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 head, I can think of ten objects, <laughs> but there's probably more. <laughs> How the hell is all that connected? And why? I mean, you know, like I was saying, just mere efficiencies. It just understands when you're getting home. Um, you know, if if um, you know, for example, when you wake up, right? Yeah. That thing's gonna wake you. Wake up your sound. Your alarm sounds if, if you use an alarm. And then five minutes later, your your your, your TV turns on and puts your, puts in your either your news or your favorite program you watch in the in the morning. Then that thing tells you know the the kitchen to start making a coffee, <laughs> right? And all that thing happens automatically. That's cool. That's that's nice. <laughs> yeah. And then what? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's all there is to it. It's the future. <laughs> It's the future. This podcast is about the future. You want all the future things. No, I get that. <laughs> but there has to be a more substantial reason. I mean... You want there to be. I want, exactly. I don't, I, don't, I don't see why... I mean, I totally get the efficiencies. I mean, I already use Google Now and all these other stuff. So, I mean, I, 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 I understand that part. But um, there has to be more to it. I mean... Maybe it's a way... That we will feel less stress about our daily lives if we have all of those kind of things. Yeah, and then use your time for what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think it saves time. I think it's just less stressful. You, things you don't have to think about. Yeah. Which we were saying, I think, two two or three podcasts ago that, you know, stuff that makes us stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was. Thinking, does, it doesn't I was thinking make make us pay attention to stuff. There's there's some sometimes you want to buy something and you're like I shouldn't buy this because it's too expensive, but I want this toy, but I shouldn't buy it. Yeah, you but just I want, want it. This toy. Yeah, and just you don't have the, the only reason you have to buy it is that you want it. It's yeah. not gonna make your life easier. It's not. It's gonna <laughs> dig a hole in your wallet. And there, there's no like a positive. The only positive thing is that you want it because 
you want it. You don't need it. You want it. So maybe it's, it's uh, kind of like that. Like all, all those things, you don't need it, but it's going to make your life easier. And maybe if you think, oh, well, I earned it. So maybe you automate most of your life, most of the stupid things. Yeah. And, and you feel less stressed about your job and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally get that. Like, I mean, the, the you know, because I was, I, was, um, I was invited to do a, you know, webinar on Saturday. And we're basically going to talk about what comes after the smartphone, <laughs> right? So for me, it's entirely obvious. And for a lot of people, it's entirely obvious what comes after the smartphone. And that's ubiquitous computing or ambient computing, which is what, you know, having everything connected around you does. You know, it, it gives you access to, to stuff, right? But right now, we're at the point where it's only efficiencies, where it only tells you, oh, uh, you should, uh, <laughs> you guys, you, you, you guys, it's very cold in here. And that thing automatically says, let's turn, you know, yeah. let's turn, on, t- turn up the, <laughs> the temperature, right? right? Uh-huh. You know, and that's, it's very simple, right? But uh, what happens when we can, what else can we do? So it becomes really, really ubiquitous. Because, I mean, you know the, the Nest thermostat? You, know, the, the, you heard about that? Okay, so I don't have one, but I've, 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 I know people who do. And, I mean, they, they got great, great ideas about it. I mean, they're like, oh, shit, like this thing tells me like everything is going on in my house, right? All right, what do you do with it? <laughs> I mean, so the question becomes, I mean, at what point does the, the user become involved in doing something with that information? Yeah, so what point does the user make use of the information or are we just really just making that information available to our to the provider and for them to decide what to do with it. <laughs> know what I mean? For example, electricity. Uh, if we're overusing electricity, will we ever know beyond looking at, uh, you know, like a notification or whatever? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are we depending too much on, on, on the provider to be smart for us? That's, 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 that's really where it comes down to. Beyond uh, mere not- notifications. I see what you say. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's like, oh, look, it says it's certain degrees here, hot in here. Yeah, I mean, and... and, and Great. I mean, do we see... Huh, exactly, that's it? That's all you're going to do? That's it? <laughs> Great. <laughs> that's awesome, right? <laughs> awesome. That, keep me warm. Just keep you, me warm. Remember, remember that um, the car. I don't remember which. I think it was Toyota. Toyota Leaf. No. Toyota. Toyota Leaf. You don't no. remember that? No. It was one of the first green cars, where you you know on the dashboard you have your speed and all that, but you also have you had like this like this um, uh, uh, well it was kind of like an illustration, but a live illustration of somewhat like a like a tree, mm-hmm. and. It shows you kind of like you're being green, <laughs> right? Because you're not, you know, and that's your indicator. But that's all you know. Oh, shit, I'm being green. It's how awesome I got a great car. How, how, how long did that last? <laughs> I didn't even hear of it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously, it didn't last because, of, of, you know, for various reasons, but that was the start of it. And, and to you know, to where we're going is... Is you know, are we gonna are users gonna be able to do something with the data? I mean, do we want to? <laughs> I think some people will do just like the the people who have, as you mentioned, a fitness app, and they count yeah. the calories and they do the, the oh I did blah 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 workout blah, blah blah and they have like everything all the data they use it to better their bodies and know if they need to eat more or eat less blah 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 blah. blah. But the amount of people who do things with that um, info, I think it's just it's very small. small. Yeah, it, it's, the obsessive ones. Yeah, it's still the 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 like the the niche market, like the yeah, not the 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 all the rest of the world, like the like let's say the 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 normal people. Okay, now, but 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 is that? Because here's the thing, um, so so what will make this, you know, future of things interesting beyond just mere fit, me beyond me or just uh, you know that thing being making it more more efficient? What will make it more interesting? Because <laughs> efficiency is boring, 
<laughs> really, you, you don't have to think about it. And it's great, you know, as long as you use your brain to do something else more productively and not have to worry about that, that's great, but most people will not do that. <laughs> the thing for me is if I, if let's say someone builds a house and it's completely uh, efficient, efficient, like everything, Smart. That, yeah. I wouldn't, I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. But the thing that would, like, make me think would be, how does it all work? How is that telling this to do that? How is that to yeah. do that? But, I mean, that's not a lot of people. That's, a lot of people are, yeah, that's great. Oh, great. Look, yeah. I just came I just came into the fucking house. It knows it's 7.30. It knows this show's going to start. It turns on the fucking TV. <laughs> it turns on the microwave. It tells or tells the kitchen, hey, this guy's probably going to want a macaroni and cheese to watch his TV show. Turn the freaking microwave. <laughs> Your robot it's chef in, creates it's in, the... Yeah, the, the, the refrigerator sends a, a notification to his wife. Prepare some macaroni and cheese for your fucking husband. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, dude, remember in 2017, there's going to be those virtual, not virtual, those robot chips that prepare well, food well, for you. So in just one year, it's going to send a message. It could, it could, chef. but you know, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> but imagine that. How, how fucking annoyed is your, your wife going to be <laughs> you're getting notifications from the t from the freaking refrigerator to make yourself fucking her macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Your husband is will be hungry. <laughs> yeah. husband you know what I mean? Hungry. You know what I mean? Because we notice these patterns every day at six thirty. He's always hungry. He wants for in the last three days he's consumed so and so number of calories from but maybe three the, sandwiches and macaroni and cheese. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, the, maybe the wife's gonna be like, "Oh, this is the greatest step ever." <laughs> You're I, getting fat. <laughs> I just, I just. Uh, cook when the watch tells me to or my phone but tells see, me but to. But see, but that's the point. You know what I mean? At what point does it become annoying? Because <laughs> people don't imagine these things. They, they just like the idea of that. But they don't put themselves in that situation because it's just by me even thinking about it. I don't, I don't have a wife, but you do. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine your wife getting all these fucking notifications every fucking day. <laughs> about you. <laughs> It's not even about her. It's about you, <laughs> or 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 your your daughter. <laughs> I mean, it, it could go the other way. It could be like I could receive a, a message from the from the bed that my wife uh, <laughs> needs her back rub. You know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, not sleeping right. So he, yeah, the bed. The, the <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could go both ways. You need a new bed. Lumps in the bed. <laughs> yeah, you need a new bed. You, I mean, there's there's a lot of things, but the. I get what you're saying, and I understand what you're saying, but most of the people who like this technology, they're, they they have the nine to five jobs, they have the normal jobs, they have the yeah. the routine. That's true. So I think if you add more to the routine or you make the you routine eliminate, easier, yeah. they're not gonna complain. They're not even gonna think about it. So eventually, let's say two generations into the future, what's gonna happen when when I mean if if Let's say, yeah, two generations, if you're 50 years from now, 50 years from now, people are going to be used to the, the, the machines telling them what to do, when to do it. It's going to be more efficient, so why not do it? Yeah. And what if the, the, the system just fails? This is going to be like chaos. It's going to be like, oh, my God, I don't know when I should feed my husband. I don't know when I should go to work. I don't know when I should, ah, <laughs> because they're so used to, I mean, we're, shock. we're seeing this be born but they're gonna be like just like Bain said you know, I mean you, you they're, they're gonna be born into it yeah molded by it. yeah so you know, we were we were um I think in our list of topics that we were gonna discuss you know and it, you know it, at some point was the what happens when everything's we live in a, when everything's personalized and in, 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 in constant anticipation <laughs> and that's where we're going right now um because if well, one example is, for example, cars, and I'm talking about the 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 more modern or luxurious cars, like the the Mercedes or the BMWs, which basically have a, you know, they under they know you, they know how fast you drive, they know how you sit, they know how you push the the, the throttle, uh, all these things, right? Yeah. <laughs> it keeps us. I mean, it it knows your favorite station. <laughs> All that stuff. So when you get into the damn car, it'll say, damn, Jorge's in. 
we gotta go into sport mode <laughs> or race mode or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh shit, his wife is on uh, boring mode. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Something like that, right? <laughs> But it's the same thing because everything's personalized, <laughs> and and I think that has a uh, a big big. Um, I don't think it's good. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because similar to how Facebook. Um, how do you say this, aggregates or, you know, kind of, it, it basically Facebook knows you very well and it, it only shows you stuff you want to see. Kind of, yeah. That's how it works. And it's personalized. Kinda. I've been on Facebook like, like nine years already, something like that, some weird number like that. So they freaking know me, <laughs> right? And I don't even use it anymore, but I know they know me. <laughs> And one of the reasons why I stopped using it was be precisely because of that. You go into a newsfeed, you all you see is the same old damn people. That fuck this, I don't see, I don't see you anymore. <laughs> I already know you, right? <laughs> right? I want to see new stuff. I don't want. I don't want this thing to be, to be, uh, you know, <laughs> to be customized for me <laughs> by by some algorithm telling me what, what exactly I want to. But that's still uh, uh, way off. The the. Facebook getting to know you because it doesn't know me very well. It just tries... It knows to, enough. I think... It <laughs> well, it knows enough. It guesses. Doesn't... It guesses. Yeah. It knows you enough. But it guesses not... and it gets to a point where it's uh, irritating that yeah. it's trying to guess what I like based on... Likes. I have no idea. Likes and comments. Uh, uh, yeah, and comments. You comment on, clicks. on like a... In clicks. Like a certain post and stuff like that. Yeah, all, that's, all that, all that stuff is Because most of the time it's just giving me... Games, online games. Yeah. Free well, play well, if you've been passes. watching games around the web, they'll track you and they'll follow you. No, but it's... it's Facebook. It's uh, then they'll start that I've never heard of. Well, then that's something else. Because if... If... um If it shows you, you know, those types of things, it's, it's either you're being... You've been around a, a website or websites that have to do with gaming, and that thing starts, you know... Pushing new information to you. Yeah, you get to learn because it doesn't I mean, there's, know my taste in games. Yeah, it's different, different algorithms. Um, but see, that's the point. The point is that what, what happens in Facebook, what happens in other social networks is going to happen, or even Amazon, it's going to happen in, in smart objects. <laughs> right? But I think most of the people are going to like that. Maybe I'm going to get irritated by it. Like, no, 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 don't turn on the lights right now. Not yet. Or stuff like that. Like, don't learn that. I don't yeah. want you to learn that. Yeah. Now, for me, the the more more inter you know, because if you think about it, what will make this thing whole more more interesting is how do we how do we program these things ourselves, <laughs> right? How do you program your context? But you you program it. <laughs> you you command it. You you either through a through an app or something. You say, oh shit, you know what? I wanna I wanna. I want to be able to make phone calls through this wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why don't we need a fucking phone anymore? I'll just make a phone call through the wall. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll just step in, you know, step in front of the wall and say, dial, call, Adrian. Right? And then something, something somewhere starts calling you and boop, the wall starts talking. I can, I can hear further. <laughs> That would be through ubiquity. The true ubiquity. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if your house is, is equipped with microphones, you can do that. You know, Bill Gates' house works like that. Like, he talks with people through a wall? Well, not through a wall, but, you know... Maybe, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some way, some hell, he just says, hey, call, uh, you know, whatever. Bam. Steve Ballmer. He's on. Uh, he's on. He's on the wall. Where, yeah. Where, <laughs> the, they had something on the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I think that's that's more interesting than having all these devices on. <laughs> But, but I think it's the face, right? The face, the first phase is all these devices get connected. Yeah. And then eventually somebody's going to figure out. Like we were talking about a few minutes ago before we, we, we jumped on. You were showing me this video about, um, I think it was Sprout, Sprout by HP. Yeah. Um, and I was saying that, you know, it's a big, you know, why do we need another big machine <laughs> to do that? Why not just do it on a wall? <laughs> yeah. That would be really interesting then because then every wall becomes a... You know, a, a, a canvas for creation. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Four white walls, and you can create anything on 
Yeah. Whatever way you want. You need a display and then something to record that thing. And that's it. That's, that's true, true, true computing. You know, anywhere in your context. Not in a specific device that has to be connect, plugged into the wall, that has to be plugged into the computer or to the, to the internet and all these other, you know, th- things that we do. Um, so, so really that's, that's really what I'm, what I'm getting to, right? Um, can we, can we jump? Can we leap to that instead of just going through the, oh, everything's connected around us and all these efficiencies and shit. <laughs> I don't think so. People want to sell shit. People want to sell shit. We were talking about this, that everything to us, it seems like it's, uh, in beta. Yeah. Or R and D. It's R and D, and they're marketing it as something new, and it doesn't sell. But still, people market it and try and sell it, and and we get stuck with this, with this, this beta things, and it stresses me out. Let's just like, okay, this is cool. We invented this. This is cool. Whatever. Next. Let's make it better. Let's make it better. Let's make it better. But it doesn't happen. I think it's because of of the money. If people want to make money out of shit. Yeah. Now, quant- you know, for example, quantification, which is which has to do with the business stuff. <laughs> How does quantification apply to the home? Beyond, oh, you've um, <laughs> you've used less energy this week or <laughs> this month, or you pooped more. <laughs> Your poop could be turned into blah blah blah, right? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. You know what I mean? Because it could be like, oh, your poop is not optimal. You need to optimize your poop. You, no, you need to optimize your nutrition. <laughs> 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 oh, you, you've, you've eaten popcorn three times this week. <laughs> That's not healthy. <laughs> your neighbor has done it five toilet, times. And the toilet splashes you with water. You should talk to your neighbor. They <laughs> 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 changed poop. or <laughs> <laughs> No, but really, I mean... I mean, because it could get, it could get very, you know, very imaginative when everything around us can quantify it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, it could get very imaginative. <laughs> Just think about that. Yeah, we're talking about a talking toilet. A talking toilet, yeah, a talking toilet. And I would buy that because it it, it would make me be healthier. <laughs> Your poop is not optimal. What can I do, toilet? Oh, you can eat more fiber. Okay, I will eat more fiber toilet. Thank you. <laughs> and the next time is going to be, oh, I see you listen to me. You ate more fiber. <laughs> I did take 50% more fiber in your poop. And <laughs> I mean, if, if people tell me what to do in certain things, like in nutrition, because I suck at that, like big time. If there was a chef, a robot control chef, that would make me food, I can tell it, you know what, I'm, I, I did... I'm not even gonna tell it because I'm wearing a. Uh, I'd be wearing a watch or something. And he's gonna know. Yeah, he's gonna know all the workout, uh, the work I did, how many calories I burned, how many calories I need. If I need carbs, and protein, blah, 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 blah. so after I, I finish my workout, I'm gonna go into my kitchen. The lights are gonna turn on by themselves. The radio's gonna turn on by themselves, and the chef is gonna present to me my optimal meal for for all the things I did and all the things I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Well, that that would be the ideal thing because you could, you know, it r- literally seem like it's reading your thoughts. Yeah. And or tell me something I don't know because I want to know what the optimal meal would be after a certain type of workout. Yeah. Now the other the other scenario, which is very um, sci fi ish, is for the example, kills me. Well, well, that too. <laughs> but the other one is Jarvis. From Iron Man? Yeah. yeah. Everybody has their own Jarvis at home? Like I was saying, hey, Jarvis, call uh, pff, whatever. It calls, and, and you don't know where the sound's coming from. You just, you just hear it. <laughs> you don't have to go, oh, the speaker's over there. Let me sit over there. Or some shit like that. Oh, the signal's harder over there. Let me, let me go over there. Just get it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. That would be the ideal scenario. <laughs> I would like to jump there before... Having all these things being optimized and connected to the freaking internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Jarvis just goes with you wherever you go. You jump on your car, Jarvis is there. You go on a plane, Jarvis is there. Or like like the movie Her, remember? You saw that movie? No, oh, you didn't see it, it no. right? No. Well, whatever. But basically, they don't have phones anymore. They just create like this this thing that they put under under like an earbud or whatever. 
and they're talking to their AI all the time. All the time? Yeah. And it, to us, it seems like the AI is just around them all the time, but they're, him, they're, they're, they're listening to them over here on their earbud. But that's how it works. That's crazy. And the, and the AI can see what you're seeing. What? Yeah, so you can have conversation with your AI about someone or something. And little, uh, you know what I mean? It's just ubiquitous with you, just carrying around with you. That's crazy. Yeah. A lot of people talking to themselves. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking, when you, you know, what's going to be crazy is when we start talking to the AI all the fucking time. A lot of lonely <laughs> people talking to themselves. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I don't think you always need to be talking to someone. <laughs> you know, there's this, um, well, we don't, we're not, we're not talking about robots, but whatever. There's this conference that's about, that has to do with sex with robots. Yeah. You heard about that? I think you told me about it. I think I did. So basically it's 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 looking towards a future where we are so friendly with robots that we're going to be intimate with them. So basically we are anticipating that we'll be we will be able to talk to them. Cuz you're not going to have sex with a robot, you can't talk to it. <laughs> Oh, that would be that would that would be so fucking weird. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Heard, have you heard about Japan? Well, those, <laughs> yeah. Well, those guys are weird. <laughs> all those all those people fuckers are weird. <laughs> they're already working on that over there. They're all, all those you know the, the China uh, the Oriental people. They're all fucking weird. Yeah, they're weird as fuck. I mean, <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, how far are we from you know ubiquitous? You know, computing, <laughs> when I say computing, is the capabilities of computing. Yeah. <laughs> not um, a computer. Not a computer, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think there's, I mean, so so my point about this, this topic was that to this point, I have not heard a very, very substan- you know, substantial reason as to why, compelling reason as to why everything around us should be connected. I immediately think, let's just jump that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're talking but it's about a fucking this. land grab. I mean, it's from from a from a business standpoint, it's a fucking land grab. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a land grab. It's a future. People wanna leave the future. It's, it's a lot, there's a lot of money to be made with all that. I wanna buy all that stuff. I know it's a big fucking market. I mean, imagine. I mean, I, what was I reading the other day? That by 2020, we're gonna have over 50 billion things connected to the fucking internet. About two years ago. How many how many things do we have do you particularly have that you want to see connected to the internet? I can think of five for myself. Laptop. It's already connected. <laughs> the tablet? Well you don't have one. Your fucking camera? You wanna <laughs> you Why? Ca- I don't know. I mean do you want your your, your, gonna make your, movie, your movie your uh, movie well let think about it. Do you want your freaking red camera, which when you shoot your films, to be connected to the freaking internet? <laughs> nope, that's a need to. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need it exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's updates for. There's it, no but... compelling reason to do so, right? But somebody's gonna figure out some fucking way, or some reason, just to. It's gonna be connected all the time. Why? It's just gonna be connected. Exactly, just Faster because. Oh, you know what I mean? All these niches. It's gonna <laughs> update automatically all your firmware. Are your uh-huh, like like the Tesla? You know, oh, firmware update. <laughs> from the cloud, <laughs> it's faster now. <laughs> you got you you got berserk mode now. <laughs> like Grand Theft Auto, just run over people. <laughs> but see that that's the point. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I totally get the point about you know the land grab, the the, the you know from from a provider point of view, but um, I think from from a user point of view, maybe, maybe I'm not the type from, like you were saying, the 9 to 5 people. I'm not one of those guys. <laughs> I could care less about it. <laughs> if it's going to make my le- my life less stressful. <laughs> I don't I don't have stress. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can go on and on and on about this topic. Um, I think we should, we should, um, you should also consider the fact that it's not just about the home. In our you know daily devices that that we have, but in some point, <laughs> it's also going to be the the things that we put into ourselves, right? So we're talking about biotech. We're talking about 
augmented um, human capabilities. Um, I think that's a, a topic for our next podcast. What do you think? Yeah, the, there's because there's already a few games set in the future that deal with that. Yeah, and I play them, so I'm very knowledgeable of that. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Let's 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 actually let's do that next week. Yeah, let's do that next week. And um, but yeah, let's 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 keep it there. And uh, uh, for you guys who who listen to this podcast, thank you so much. Hope hopefully you have a great year, 2016. Kick some ass. And uh, regarding this topic, let us know what you think. Um, you know, why do you beyond mere efficiencies? Why do you think all these connect devices should be connected to each other? Um, and why do you care? <laughs> <laughs> Are you an efficiency <laughs> um, you know, nut? <laughs> I'm not. But, um, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, all right. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.